Thanks for coming to the last video ever recorded in this little room here <laughs> by Sister Maria Regina. It's an honor. It's an honor. Hey, I'm Father Mark Mary. And I am Sister Maria Regina. And I'm a Franciscan Friar Durno. And I am a Sister of Life. Sister Maria Regina, is that Latin? Yes, it is Latin. <laughs> yes. Right, yeah. yeah, you know a little bit of Latin. That's yeah, pretty yeah, good. Yeah. All right. Yeah, uh, so Sister's here to talk to us about mm -hmm. uh, this part three of three about the healing journey. And I like it. Yeah, the healing journey. Um, I want to start by quoting Father Glenn CFR, who says that healthy living heals. So that's the takeaway from this video, healthy living heals. And there's a great book out there. It's called Habits of Holiness. Oh. <laughs> I wrote a book called Habits for Holiness. But oh, that's, <laughs> that's what I meant. Habits for Holiness. Uh -huh. um, I recommend checking it out. But yeah, healthy living heals. What does that, what does that mean? We've talked a lot about prayer already, but I think prayer is a foundation for a healthy life. So starting out, don't bite off more than you can chew. Start with five minutes, 10 minutes a day, but making prayer a non-negotiable, just a little bit every day, heart to heart encounter with the Lord. So that's the foundation for a healthy life. Another reality would be community life. We've talked a lot about that too, but I, need others on the journey. <laughs> I can't, I can't walk this journey alone and I need ways to come outside of myself. I need someone to bump up against my own will. I need ways to learn how to grow in patience. <laughs> if I'm wanting to grow, I need other people. So just the gift of being in communion with others and people who are pursuing the Lord. Um, I want to be, I want to be with other people whose eyes are on heaven, who are desiring the same things that I desire and no community is perfect. We're all, everyone's broken and that's okay. But if I'm with people who are pursuing the Lord, it's going to help me grow. I think an important part of, of a healthy life is the basics of getting enough sleep and exercising and eating healthy food. Our bodies are a gift from God and they actually matter. We've kind of been entrusting with stewarding our bodies and we are all one, one person. We're not a body and then a separate soul and a heart. So if I have things working through my heart, they're going to work through my body too. I pray with my body. Um, I, I interact with others through my body. So my body matters and how I take care of myself matters. So get enough sleep, eat healthy food, go exercise, go for a run. I know myself, like Exercise can help me process things if I'm working through a lot or I'm really got a lot of anger going on. <laughs> just go outside and run it off. These are healthy ways of kind of integrating the work of the journey of interior healing as a whole person, as an integrated person. So that's also really important. And it's going to be different for everyone. So not to compare, like someone might need 10 hours of sleep and I might be fine with seven hours of sleep, but finding what is good for you and what your body needs and, and being free in that and seeing it really as a stewarding of the gift that God has given you. Let's talk about healthy leisure. Healthy leisure. I love leisure. <laughs> leisure is an experience of, of recreation, of being recreated, of finding a way that I step out of, of the work, of the daily grind, and I allow my heart to be recreated, to experience again God's goodness, to get in touch with nature, to do something that I'm not doing for the sake of being productive. Um, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be efficient when I'm um, experiencing leisure. So what could that look like? Going for a little walk where I'm just gonna look at, <laughs> look at the flowers outside for five minutes or taking a little while to go play a song on the piano or just sitting and having a cup of coffee with someone else. Just letting myself be without trying to do something. That actually, in a paradoxical way, is that a word, par paradoxical? Maybe, yeah, yeah. I don't know, okay. I think it's Latin. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so it actually, by stepping back from work, it helps me when I step back in to be more fully myself and more integrated. So we actually need the break to be able to live better, to love better. And that's that's a way of you reverencing yourself, which is good and important. It's gonna help you love. It's not for the sake of me time, but it's for the sake of helping me 
be restored so that I can go back into my relationships, my life, and, and love people and love the Lord and be ready when he calls me to something, I'm ready to go. So just the gift of healthy leisure. Let's talk about beauty too, um, the healing power of beauty. Beauty is very distorted in our culture. Images, um, sounds, music, and true authentic beauty, when I let myself receive it without trying to grasp it or without trying to possess it, actually heals my heart in places that are broken. So that could be looking at an image of, of art that is truly beautiful, looking at beautiful images, especially if I struggle um, in an area of sin where, where images are the problem, like looking at true beauty and letting it wash over my heart, just receiving it, receiving, naming, what, is this, <laughs> what does beauty feel like in my heart? What does it do to me? What does it call out of me? We're recently into Gregorian chant, just listening to Gregorian chant, Again, the music and the world, there's kind of a distortion to beauty there, but Gregorian chant, secular people love it because apparently it reduces anxiety when you listen to it, but it actually is words of scripture being sung over you and it, it, it brings peace. Um, it's, it's an experience of, of voices singing in harmony. So any kind of beautiful music, beautiful art. I love the restorative power of beauty in nature, especially being in New York City finding a flower, finding a leaf on a tree and just looking at it and taking it in and letting its beauty touch my heart and rejoicing in that. There's a healing that happens in that we're made for beauty. God is beauty. It's a taste of God in the experience of beauty. Again, without trying to then control that, but receiving it as a gift. I think the last part of just healthy living is making a gift of myself. We've talked about this a lot before too. <laughs> I have themes I like to talk about, but making a gift to myself is actually part of healthy living where I learn little by little how to give myself away, how to make a gift of myself. And I can't do that until I possess myself. And so all of these, this whole journey of healing is a journey of deeper self-possession, of deeper knowledge of the Lord, of deeper intimacy with him leading to deeper capacity to give myself away and love, which is what our hearts are longing for <laughs> and what, what heaven will be. And learning now how to practice giving myself away in little ways sets me up to be able to give the gift of myself in a de definitive way when the Lord asks that of me. And it's part of the journey of healthy living. Finding little ways, the neighbor next door, a friend who needs something, finding a way to volunteer, giving myself away in love is there's a healing action, a healing grace that comes with that. So all these things, just different little, or just a couple, but habits for holiness, I'm sure has a lot more <laughs> good ideas. <laughs> that's it? Yeah, that, I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Nice one. Perfect. Beautiful. Thank you, sister. Thanks for joining. Yeah, me again thank you. On the series. Thank you for and having me. I think uh, it'll be helpful for. A lot of people, so, mm -hmm. you know what you're talking about. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Good. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again next week. Remember, we are pilgrims on this earth. Somos peregrinos poco a poco. Little by little, as sister said. Little by little. Vamos a llegar. Bye-bye.